I'm ready for the work too. Yes, we started last week. Uh, I changed them, the title just a little bit to the glory of the indwelling spirit. And, you know, there are things that we believe for and we trust God for, we ask God for, and we thank God for. But, you know, it's like you got a, a child, you buy him a bicycle for his birthday, you buy him a bicycle for Christmas, you buy him a, a, a scooter, you know, for uh, you know, a, a special gift or something like that, maybe rewarded and done something with, or you buy him a wagon or something like that. And you got all this stuff. Okay, and then he come to you one day and said, "I I want to go to the store. You know, can you can you take me to the store? The store is about a quarter mile down the block." Mm -hmm. And you, when you say, "Honey, I ain't gonna ask Mama, Dad to do that. Just, just take your bicycle and go down there. Take your scooter. You, you, take, treat, take your wagon. Or In other words, you have given him the, the, the tools for what he needs to do. All right." But he come here, take me here, take me there, take me here, take me here. And at some point, you're going to put it in his hands to have responsibility to do this. Yes. You're not going to wait till he gets 35. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. And he 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 been working and got a job and everything like that. And he's still coming, Mama, take me here, Mama, take me here. Daddy, Daddy, can you drive me over here? Can you drive me over here? He's 35 years old. If you do not give that child some responsibility, do you know you're damaging him? Oh, sure. sure. It's not fair to that child. It's not fair to that child's family. So he's gonna bring his whole family over and say, Mom and Dad, can you take, take us somewhere? Can't take Because they ain't gonna quit. Can I come live with you and then you know y'all drive here and run my me and my family around and, and feed us and cook for us and everything? <laughs> Somewhere along the way. I'm preaching to you. You better start your mind. You must know people that are coming out of here. You must know Pastor DeVore. 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 The woman's child had four or five kids of her own. Jesus, my And she Lord. is burdening herself down with a cane, oh, cooking and sewing and, and babysitting. She, I can't Jesus. take it no more. I can't take it no more. Yeah. So the more you don't give them responsibility That's on it. their own, That's it. That's they'll grow up and be an adult after you die and go ahead try to wear somebody else down. Sure. And use them up. That's right. Mm -hmm. Because they refuse to grow up and do something for That's themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Mm -hmm. I got a word in Spanish for that. <laughs> and hit no wiki. <laughs> Not up in here. Yes. I, 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 I say, and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> <laughs> you, you and him get out. Mm -hmm. Okay? But they call it tough Come on. Now. No, they don't call it tough now. They call it bye. <laughs> uh -uh, he don't work it. You see, because you just all you do, all you do, allowing them to damage them, you, and anybody else that meet in life. My God, they can damage everything they come into contact with. Okay, so I don't, I, I don't play with ninety-five year old children. I don't play with eighty year old children. I don't play with fifty year old children. I don't play with forty and thirty year old children, twenty year old children. You gonna do something for yourself? You gonna, you, and you ain't gonna be here. Because you're supposed to be independent. You're supposed to be making a life for yourself. Okay. And you're supposed to own up your own mistakes. Yes. Mm -hmm. You made a mistake. You got down and out. Guess who's going to pick it up? Don't come knocking over here. Right. Mm -hmm. You've been told and you've been taught. Now, the reason I said that is because we're teaching on the glory of the indwelling spirit. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to tell them Pastor Archie. See, I don't, I don't leave nobody out. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. I'm talking. I'm, I'm complaining in my spirit about God and oh, this and that. And I want this and this and that. And all of a sudden, he reminded me of the book of 1 Corinthians. Let's go over there. Uh -oh, uh -oh. The book of 1 Corinthians. Uh -oh. You know, I, you know I, I, I was talking to Pastor Joseph, uh, you know, Pastor Joseph in the, in the, in the Raleigh Austin Wood Church. Mm -hmm. I was talking to Pastor Joseph one time, and um, we, we, we were going back and forth. And, you know, he, he, he's just a, a responsible type of person, okay? Mm -hmm. He's a very responsible type mm -hmm. of person. And uh, we, we were talking to RLCC, and he was talking about how um, the Lord said, come, let us reason together. 
You know? Mm -hmm. And I said, Pastor Justin, whatever God say that, I know the conversation over. <laughs> You know, how am I going to reason with the almighty living God, the king of the universe? When he said, let's reason, God, he's not coming to me for the answer. Hello? No, 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 no. <laughs> so when he said, if we ask you a question, he ain't looking for information. Right. Okay? So like, I, I'm, I'm complaining to my spirit about this and about the manifestation, that, and I've been doing all I'm supposed to be doing, and da, 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 da. And he, he reminded me of the book of 1 uh, of Corinthians. Mm -hmm. And let's look at chapter 2. And I know it's good as any, anywhere in the Bible. It says, but as it is written, I has not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered in the heart of man the things that God has prepared for them that love him. He said, I got this stuff already prepared. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. It's been prepared and it's been revealed. Like that child, you prepared that, that bike and that scooter and those that wagon and all those modes that you, you prepared. And then for Christmas, you revealed it. Mm -hmm. Whose fault is it that they don't use it? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, the mm -hmm. conversation was over between me and God. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so what he's saying here is that, but God has revealed them unto us by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things Yea, the deep things of God. Not only did he prepare it and reveal it, he said, I know whatever is the deepest part of me, the Spirit going to show it to you. Come on. He's already revealed it. It's a matter of you hooking up with him, praying in the Holy Ghost. Come on now. Come on. Like you digging for oil, mm -hmm. you got to keep drilling. You got to keep drilling. You, if you stop at 50 feet, you ain't got no oil. Mm -hmm. But some of it's so deep, you got to keep drilling. You gotta go. But when you get finished and you hit the geezer, you hit the mother load, mm -hmm. you can pay somebody to clean up the mess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and you're just going about your business. He said he's prepared it for your saints and he's revealed it unto you by his spirit. For the spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Hold your finger right there and go to the eighth chapter of the book of Romans. Eighth chapter of the book of Romans. Has revealed them unto us by his spirit, the deep things of God. Now, the eighth chapter of the book of Romans, we're going to go to verse 26. 8th chapter of Romans 26. And it says, Likewise the Spirit also helps our infirmities, or our weaknesses. For we know not what we should pray for as we are. But the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. And he that searches a heart knows what is the mind of the Spirit. Because he makes intercession for us according to the will of God. Intercession for the saints. According, and we know that all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord and are called according to his purpose. Now he said in Corinthians, he searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Now he said, when you find it, I'm going to make all of it work to your good. Uh-oh. Amen. Uh-oh. Amen. So then if you ain't got your answers, you ain't got the manifestation, maybe you ain't searching what's been prepared. Because when you start searching, the Spirit going to reveal it and he's going to make it. You begging him for stuff. He said, pray in the Holy Ghost. Just pray in the Holy Ghost. He'll reveal it and make it work together for your good. How important it is to pray in the Holy Ghost, saints. He said, this is the way you mind the claim. You ever see the Western stories and all the guys, they, 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 they mind it for gold? And then this one guy come, come into, oh, arm and I've been out there for 15, 20 years. I ain't find nothing in the hills. And then a whole bunch of people out there, you see one guy, I hit it big! Uh -huh. I, he's about 25 years old, yeah. and the guy, I hit it big! Ah! He look, look at the grade of that goal. He goes in, wait a minute, the guy tells him the, rate, the grade of the goal, how big is the vein, and everything. That. And he know he ain't got nothing else to worry about. Mm -hmm. But if some other folks come out there and dig for a week, uh, maybe we go get a job in the hotel. This ain't working. Come on, come on, come on. I know that preacher told us to pray in the Holy Ghost, but I've been praying for 10 minutes and ain't nothing happening. <laughs> come on now. He said the indwelling spirit searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. And he says it has been revealed to him. In other words, the spirit got the answer. Mm -hmm. That's it. 
He's walking around with the revelation. All we got to do is, that's why the Lord told his church in a year, two years ago, mm -hmm. to pray more in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Pray more in the Holy Ghost. Well, I've been doing it. These last week or two weeks, I've been praying more than before when he told us to do it. Okay, more consistently. And guess what? The drill is going down. Arlene, the drill's going down. Mm -hmm. Louise, the dream drill is going down. Pastor, the boy, the dream, the drill is going down. Mm -hmm. And every so once in a while, I get, I get a spurt, mm -hmm. another spurt, an answer to something. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, people are going, "Oh my God, look at what he come up with now." Mm -hmm. But that's you, he. See, there are manifestations along the way, but the mother load is coming mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to where it just begins to flow and begins to gush up. Yes, like Jesus said. Uh, in you would be a spring springing up unto everlasting life. Yeah. Oh my God. Saints, I, the Lord would so gently and so kindly and so sweetly rebuke me. Mm. Amen. Mm. What is the matter with you? Mm. I didn't give it all to you. And what it says in the, book, in the book of Peter, he's given us all things that pertain unto life yeah. and godliness through the knowledge of him that called us to glory and virtue. He's given it all to you. He's given you everything. He says in the book of Corinthians that you'll be all sufficient in all things. Be abound to every good work. Another translation of every good work and charitable donation. He wants you to be in a place where you can give, give anything to anybody anytime as much as you want to give whenever you're ready to do it. Can you, can we, like Joe Rivers said, can we talk here? Okay? We're talking about the glory of the indwelling spirit. Oh, mm -hmm. Joe, you got to see this tape, homeboy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is something that we already possess, saints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, now, see, now here, can I tell you something to tell about God? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something I learned about God. Because every time you learn and you learn the word, you learn about God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Don't forget what he did. You know how it said in the, in the testimonies in, in, in the Old Testament, God wanted Israel all to remember things. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, he had a situation where they, they crossed the Red Sea. And, and then he said, take some of the stones and set them up. Mm -hmm. So you don't remember. And your children say, where did these stones come from? Mm -hmm. And you'll be able to tell them. Right. And then he, they happened to do the Passover when he brought the children of Israel across the Red Sea. And all, he always said, you remember that stuff. Why is that? Because he got a big ego? Mm -hmm. No. It's not because he got a big ego. It's not because he wants you to just remember it just so, you know, uh, you, you, you'll feel guilty mm -hmm. every time he tell you to do something, you don't do it. That's not it. Mm -hmm. You know why? It's teaching you his personality. Mm -hmm. Because the more you meditate mm -hmm. on something, the more truth is going to be revealed to you. Yeah. Okay? Isn't that what he told Joshua? Meditate on the law day, day and night. Yeah. He's trying to teach us mm -hmm. something. Wow. He, the more you, and now, remember last week, a couple weeks ago, I told you, always know how God deals with you, and you always know the will of God. Mm -hmm. I gave the illustration not too long ago. There's a situation when I first got saved, and I would do something by mistake, Knowing I'm the right way to do it, but somehow I zone out and start doing it. So what am I doing this for? But I learned. I said, oh, wait a minute. The last time I did this, God did something. So let me continue. Now give you, uh, I should say, an exact designation, exact yes. example. One time, I'm getting ready to go to church. My five, first wife is still alive. And she, we were getting ready to drive. I mean, she, 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 already, she was getting already ahead of me going to church. And so I get ready to go. I get ready to follow her to church. And... She's already there. I pull out of the driveway and I turn right. I know good and well I'm supposed to turn left. But I turn right. And I said, what am I doing? I give it to her. I said, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. The last time I did this and made a mistake, God did something amazing. Let me see where you're taking me, God. All of a sudden, I start Lord, driving. I, I start driving. I start driving. And all of a sudden, I come and turn around the corner. Now, you see how God puts stones to let you know it's him mm. where I had to take the left turn was the same street where I got saved where Jesus Christ appeared to me mm. I said I know I'm in the will of God now mm -hmm. all of a sudden I keep driving I keep driving 
And then I look in the side of the road and I see Sister Netta. Sister Netta had a prosthesis. She had a, 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 a false arm. And she, she was handicapped. Holy woman of God, you know. She said, Brother Archie, Brother Archie. I said, Hey, Sister Netta. She said, I just prayed and asked God to send me somebody to go, go get me some kerosene because it's cold in this house. Mm -hmm. I, got, I said, I'd, I'd be glad to sister, see Sister Netta. Went and got kerosene, brought it back to her, went to church, and had a whole hallelujah time. Now, why I say all that? I said, now I know how God deals with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I look like I'm making a mistake, if it's harmless, mm -hmm. I know it ain't me making a mistake. It's the leading with God. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I understand that now. Mm -hmm. I understand that. So you need to know how God deals with you. And again, I meditate on that. Meditate. And that's, like I said, the reason for those testimonies in the Old Testament. Because God wants you to know, this is how I deal with you. I deal with you in power. I'm going to protect you. I'm going to defend you against your enemies. And the next time you begin to add more and more and more and more to his dealings with you. You add more and more of the times that you had interaction with him so you know how he's dealing with you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know what that's worth to you, saints. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's, but it comes to a place where he don't ever want you to miss him. He wants to bless you beyond your wildest dreams. Yes, yes, Lord, but he, yes, Lord, he wants yes, to do it out of a heart of intimacy and fellowship and relation and know. I know what this woman like here. I know how to turn her motor on and leave it running. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, she, right, got, right, she right. got upset with me. <laughs> she got upset with me about, I'm telling you now. Oh, she got right. upset with me about a week ago. And she just ran out the house. She mad. She going and everything like that. <laughs> you know what I did? You know what I did? I went to shop right and got me a dozen red roses. Oh. Okay. I, I, I sit them on the table. Oh. I took a picture of it. <laughs> I went in, I, I, I cleaned clean up the, the bath, the kitchen floor, oh, and wiped the floor. Yeah. Yeah. And we got some, some a, 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 a thing going up the stairs that hadn't been cleaned for a while, a little, a little blanket going up the stairs. I took it out, shook it out, vacuumed it out, vacuumed the hallway and everything, you know, went up and made the bed nice and everything. And she, and she come back waiting for me to be upset. Where you been? And she stepped into the house and, Oh. <laughs> and I text a picture and said, your flowers are doing fine. <laughs> you know, and, and, and she in church today? Out of the dog house. <laughs> is, is she in church today? Okay. <laughs> Good and like a chest cat in a fish. <laughs> but you see, you have to know. That's how God wants you to know him. Yeah. Uh, she forgot what we're arguing about. <laughs> you see? You see, but that's what I'm talking about. Says, you have to deal. You have to study God. Yeah. You have to know what turns him on. Yeah. You turn God on. Baby, can't. I feel sorry God. for your enemies. Yeah. They're going to have a bad head day. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Come on now. Yeah. It says, oh my God, my God. There's so many places in the word where yes. God wants you to know him. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Like yes. he said that about David, he's a man after my own heart. Yes. 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 yes, 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 yes. You know, I mean, he, he, there's so many times. Look, you remember Hezekiah? Mm -hmm. The prophet said, told to, he said, Lord told him to go to tell, tell him, get his house in order. Right. Yeah. We're going we gonna to close the gate on you, boy. Yeah. You know, we're going to shut down stuff on you. Yeah. He went in there and he turned to the wall. Turned God, the remember that time I did this. Oh, oh, God, you know I love you. Yeah. God, you know we even hooked up. We yes. never. He's, go back and tell him I had 15 years. Yes. 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 You know, yes. come on. Yes. You've got to know how to get in God's yes. face. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Thanks, good. That's That's good. Good. To know who you are, you got to know who he is yes, in you. Lord. Like it says in the Bible, we are his body, his yes. bones, and his flesh. No, God, I know you're gonna deliver me out of this. That's I know it. this danger gonna bother me because you won with me and you ain't suicidal. That's Amen. it. Amen. That's it. Amen. You got to be bold in this thing. Ooh, that woman, God. that Canaanite woman. Yes, sir. Okay, she so came on, up to on. him. Said, Lord, deliver it. Throw the, throw the devil out of my daughter. And all of a sudden, the, 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 the church said, Get out, get her out of here. She yeah. crying after us. That's what the church told yeah. the yeah. disciples. Yeah. Church. Yeah. Church. The church is gonna get in your mess. Jesus. No, but she said, he said, well, I didn't come but the but to the, the lost sheep of the house, the house of Israel. 
Mm -hmm. He said, well, Lord, help me, help me. He says, it's not right to give the children's bread and cast it to the dogs. Oh, my God. Mm -hmm. The church told her no. Yes. Jesus told her no mm -hmm. and called her a dog. My God, my God, my God, my God. Most but, people say, but, Almighty but, but, God. But, Mm -hmm. Has told me off, mm -hmm. and it's over. Mm -hmm. She got in his face. She but did. the dogs under the table get the cross. He said, "Go ahead, sugar dog. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, oh, just, you just hooked up." Mm -hmm. oh, you see, God. but this is the oh, kind of stuff God. that's revealed unto you by His Spirit my as you God. pray oh, in the Holy oh, Ghost. It's the heart of God you're talking to. Mm -hmm. He reveals to you the deep yeah. things of God. Amen. The Glory deep God. things of God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Oh, yeah. He let you know. No, child, you're my baby dog. Yes. Mm -hmm. You yes, and I, yes. we were talking just uh, just before praise and worship. Uh -oh. Saying your pastor the boy said about how the enemy try to con 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 try to shake you up with with, with uh, mm -hmm. condemnation and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And you, you you may be you know uh oh you're reading or you're studying and everything and you, it's this precious time you set aside for God and you fall asleep. And they say, God, you know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I heard a Facebook quote one time. What if you have an infant? And you say, sweetheart, I'm going to sing you a song. And you sing the infant song, and the infant fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You going to be mad at the infant? No. Mm -hmm. You're going to wait till he wake up and yeah. start singing to him again. That's <laughs> okay? Yes, and, then, yes, and then you say, sing it again. You sing it again. Yes. Okay? Yes. Hey, don't let the devil beat you up. That's it. Mm. That's it. Don't. Do you know that God ain't yeah. asked the devil nothing about you? Mm. Amen. It ain't none of his beeswax. Amen. You got that right? Amen. Amen. That's between you and God. Amen. Amen. Lead it between you and God. Amen. These are the things that are indwelling spirit. Because it, he says, the spirit cries, Abba, Father, wow. Papa, Daddy. There ain't nothing in between that relationship. There's nothing in between that intimacy. Oh my God! Oh. If you ever get a hold of him, boy, the devil <laughs> is in big trouble. He gonna be looking at you, batting his eyes like a frog in a hailstorm. <laughs> okay? <laughs> oh yeah! Oh yeah! When you get, when you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, He says He searches it deep. Thing. He'll let you know what God's thinking. That's it. That's it. Oh That's yeah! It. He'll let you know what God's thinking. He says in the Word, He says He's easily touched yes. by the feeling of our infirmities. Easy. When you Easy. feel sad, He feels sad. When you yes. feel happy, He feels happy. Come on. When you man. anything, so that's why He, when you get ready to pray, don't try to inform God. My Lord. My Lord. That's boring to him. My Lord. He's already felt it. And just between you and me, and I hate yeah, to burst oh, your shit. bubble. <laughs> you know, some folks think they're so important, they're going to inform God. Mm -hmm. Don't let me burst your bubble. But he knew you before you were yes, born. Yes, that's the word. Yes. Yes. That's, that's the right. That's that's right. The word says. How many times yeah. have you gone to somebody that you know, and then you say, who are you? Louis, look at me. Pastor Archie, I've been knowing you for four or five years now. What? 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 If I say I know Louise, that means I had to have a conversation with her, right? Mm -hmm. If I say I know Arlene, I have to have a conversation with Arlene. Mm -hmm. I, have, I know where she lives. I know where Louise lives. I know where everybody here lives, what town you live in. Yeah. Okay? I know Pastor DeBoer. Hold on, than anybody else. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but you see, you see, here's what I'm saying. <laughs> All right, now come back. Come back. Come back. <laughs> I, I have to. He said he know do you before you in your mother's womb. Yeah, 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 yeah. You had a conversation. Yeah. My God, my God. You had intimacy. Oh, with God. Yeah. Yeah. Before you were yeah. in the. <clears throat> Are you gonna be wow. born down here? Holy, holy. You gonna live that long? Mm -hmm. I made provisions for you. This is the oh, church you're gonna oh, go into. This God. is who you're gonna marry. Yes. Thank my God. Lord, my God. Okay. Mm -hmm. He knew you before you were formed. But see, Saints, Pastor Archie didn't get this last Tuesday afternoon. Mm. Jesus, thank you. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. Fellowship with God by His Spirit. That He mm -hmm. searches the deep things of God. Amen. Amen. Everybody outside my house, I can tell me yeah, what is it. The living room is up here and up there is this and this and that. You know, but Pastor the Lord knows every inch of this house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jesus. That Spirit that's on the inside of you, that Holy Spirit, knows every inch of God. Come on, come on. And he's been sent to teach it to you. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Thank you. Lord, That's the God. glory of the indwelling spirit. Yes. Amen. That's why it's saints. It's so important. Oh God. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Oh God. Amen. He's a protector. Mm -hmm. I never forget it. 
to go. We had services on the back porch one day. We had some neighbors here, and, and it was so sad. Mm. The husband and father oh was a minister in Alabama. And he was living, he didn't want nothing to do with God. And I saw him, hey, they invited him over one time. He said, oh, the King James Version of the Bible. Oh, no, 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 no. And he wouldn't, he wouldn't come to church. And the wife would walk, my, 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 the Lord put on my wife's heart to walk with the, his wife down the road. And they would talk. And she said to my wife one day, she says, I ain't never going to change. Oh, my shit. I ain't never gonna change. Mm -hmm. And they were talking about being people doing up neighbors up and down. And my wife just kind of finally got grieved and left it alone. We were having church on the back porch one day. And we were singing a song, my chains are broken, everything like that. You know, I don't know what they were thinking we were singing about, but you know, you could hear the snicker and stuff like that. And so one of the congregation members at that time said, Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. Let's pray in the Holy Ghost. So we began to pray in the Holy Ghost. I don't know what they were thinking about that. Well, one day I'm at work. It was late and I was working a two to ten shift. It was maybe 7 o'clock, 6.37 at night, whenever I had dinner that night. And I, I, all of a sudden, this Holy Ghost prayer came up out of me. Lord, keep that which pertains to us. Thank you. Keep that which pertains to us. I never, I'm thinking, I'm praying over my meals. So what am I praying that for? But praying in the Holy Ghost, he rose up and said, keep that. I come home, I'm driving down the road, and I see this big flame. And I said, wow, this looks like it's near our house. And I came, I kept going, kept going. I said, that looked real close to us. <laughs> and I came back, I looked real close. It was right next door. Wow. The house of God wow. consumed in flames. Wow. And they were inside asleep. You know what I'm yeah. The neighbor came, ran, bang on the door, boom, 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 and woke them up. They got halfway down the stairs, and the lights went out. Oh. And they had to find their way out of the front door. And they, they made it out. Thank God. Two cats died, but the dog got out. And everybody standing across the street, looking at the house, just could go up in flames. Wow. And I said, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Jesus. Now I know why that prayer came. Yes, Jesus. Lord, keep that. Just it. it just got warm. It melted one um, chair on this side of the fence out there. That was it. That was it. Wow. So cool. No trees yeah. caught Thank nothing. God. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. What the okay. God. Okay. It was God what keeping God. that oh, God. to us. Amen. We are tithers. He rebukes the devourer. Amen. 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 Exactly. They came back. I remember the, 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 the father, the, the, the husband said, we got to find a way back. He was thinking of rebuilding. They found it was just, the damage was too extensive. Wow. Finally, they had to move to Alabama. And they demolished the house. Oh. We were still friends. We talked to him and everything like that. Come to find out later that she had lung cancer. She passed away about a week and a half ago. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it rung in my mind how she said, I ain't never going to change. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. I sincerely hope, mm -hmm. because his father was a minister, yeah. that he was able to get to her. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. God keeps giving opportunities, saints. Exactly. He's keep giving opportunities for everybody. Mm -hmm. And I believe there's a, it, it just across the street where my wife and I come home one day and we get ready to get out of the car and somebody, hear somebody, ah, ah. I said, who wants to go? Ah, ah. He's not breathing. He's not breathing. I said, what are they talking about? I figured they're trying to give somebody mm -hmm. mouth breath, 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 whatever. Mm -hmm. And I saw yeah. resuscitation. I said, and I, and I hear, I get ready to come, come around the car and open it up. He's like, he's not breathing. I said, honey, wait a minute, let me go see what's going on. So I go over there. This guy was in a bucket. He just bought a business where he cut trees. And he was in the bucket, swinging and, and had no safety belt. He was excited, 20 some years old, just bought his first business. And they said, put your safety belt on. He didn't put it on. He kept swinging. He mm. fell out of the bucket mm. on top of the roof mm. Mm. and then hit the ground. Mm. Mm. All around the ground, there was grass. Mm. There was a one four by four square foot of concrete. And mm -hmm. guess where you hit? Mm -hmm. On the concrete. Mm -hmm. When we got over there, we started so we started locking ourselves up. Lord, give him a chance. Look, because they're trying to revive him. The guy would give him mouth to mouth. Mm -hmm. He had blood all over his face. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and then the, the, the father came up, F, F, F. In a certain mm -hmm. situation, you find out what's in your spirit. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It, it went, Father in the name of Jesus. It, it went some other stuff. Mm. The mother came out and she began to pray a little bit. My, my wife and I began to pray. God, give him another chance. God, help him. Give him another. And there was no vital signs at all. Jesus. After a few minutes, they said, We got a pulse. We got a pulse. I said, Oh, Jesus. He went to the hospital. He passed away the next day. But I will always believe 
my God had an opportunity to have a conversation mm -hmm. with him. Do you want to accept Jesus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see, all these two situations I explained to you, we would never forget them. But guess what, saints? We are always going to meditate on them. Because they teach us about how God deals with us. They teach about his personality. The Spirit of God begins to teach you about himself and about you, saints. You get that? Oh, my God. The glory of the indwelling Spirit is Limitless. Yeah, mm -hmm. it is. When you begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, He gives you answers when you least expect to get the answer. You got that? Mm -hmm. He gives you answers. Sometimes you're not even looking for answers. Mm -hmm. We didn't know anything about what was going to happen next door, but all of a sudden the Holy Spirit knew and He said, "He okay, you got to." Be. And my wife was taking care of a middle. We were both taking care of a middle child adult at the time. My wife looked and saw what was going on. I think the client saw it first, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I called. I huh? called her. You call, yeah. You, my wife called her up, right? Thinking he called her up, she called her up, and then they they got outside. They went around the building, went, went up front, you know. And, but by the time, but I think they, they were already out in the house by then, right? Mm -hmm. they, they, they had already got him because they didn't even know what was going to imagine all that danger. And God said, "Got mm -hmm. you so protected." Mm -hmm. Remind me of Peter, you know. When, when when the angel came, he had to smother him on the side to wake him up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. You know, only with your eyes shall you behold and see the reward of the wicked. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm talking about those that are the benefits of getting tight and knowing the glory of the indwelling spirit saints. Mm -hmm. I don't know what this is worth to you, but it's worth it. It could be worth your entire neighborhood. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Mm -hmm. It could be worth every all the neighbors where you live. All the it could be worth Newburgh. Mm -hmm. It could be worth Ellenville. It could be worth Middletown. Mm -hmm. To know the indwelling spirit to that degree. And it says in the book of Jude. Building yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, mm -hmm. keeping yourself in the love of God. Here's what I'm trying to tell you, saints. You know what faith can do? Holy God. Jesus said, if you have enough faith, you can move a mountain. Mm -hmm. He spoke to the fig tree. What happened? It dried up from the roots. I like the way he said that. Mm -hmm. He didn't say all the leaves died and the tree didn't survive. He said faith goes to the roots. Now, the book of Jude, this is after, here's what I'm saying now. Jesus is operating by the Spirit, but he's showing us how we operate by the Spirit after the resurrection. It's in building yourself up in what? Your most holy faith. Man, ain't nothing stopping that. Ain't nothing stopping that. That's why praying in the Holy Ghost is so important. We need, we need to spend time praying. I don't care if it's 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day, but just be faithful in it. Amen. Because by, the Bible said God loves faithfulness. And another Hebrew translation said he cherishes faithfulness. Mm -hmm. The reason why, because guess what happens, saints? If you build a house, it says building yourself up. If you build a house, you, put, you build a foundation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The next day you come, you, put, you, you, you build a foundation a little bit more. The next, if you spend five years, you should be at least at the first level. Mm -hmm. And then you pl build some more. And you, be, in other words, every time you pray in the Holy Ghost, you get higher, you get more, you get deeper, you get stronger. You may not be able to see it, you may not be able to feel it, you may not be able to hear it, you might not be able to touch it, but you know it's happening because the B I B L E said so. Mm -hmm. People, oh yeah, I pray the Holy Ghost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you understand what's going on here? Yeah. Something is occurring in the spirit. Something. That you'll be able to use later. That's going to come back. God ain't going to tell you nothing that's not going to bless you. That's it. That's it. That's it. It's all. What does he need, saints? How many people in the food stamp line saw God waiting his turn? <laughs> it's all for you. Every bit of it is for you. Jesus died on the cross, raised, been raised from the dead, seated at the right hand of the, whole, of the majesty on high, giving you his spirit. It's all for you. You want to see a conversation about you? Go to the 17th chapter of John one day. Mm -hmm. The most detailed conversation that we have in Scripture of Jesus and God having a conversation. Mm -hmm. And you know what the whole thing's about? The whole conversation is about you. 90% mm -hmm. of the conversation between him and God 
is about you. Father, make them one as we are one. Show them that you love them as you love me. Show them, make them one as we are one. Oh my God. The whole thing is about us. We say, it's all about Jesus. It's all about Jesus. Jesus telling Father, it's all about them. It's all about them. It's all about them. That's why I died. That's why I bled. That's why I rose from the dead. That's why I'm seated. All power in heaven and earth is given unto me. And after he says all power in heaven and earth has been given to me, you know what he said then? Go ye. He started talking to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go ye into all the world. I got all the power in heaven. I take care of that. Guess who got to take care of us here? Mm -hmm. yes. mm -hmm. We his body. Mm -hmm. We are his body. Mm -hmm. Whatever you bind on earth is bound in heaven. Yeah, Whatever yeah. you loose come on, on earth is loosed in heaven. Yeah. Jesus didn't stay here to keep the keys. He said, Peter, I'm giving them to you. He did. Mm -hmm. He said, strengthen your brother. I'm going, I'm going up on home, boy. <laughs> Sitting down, henceforth, expecting his enemies to be made his footstool. He didn't say, I'm out there doing all that stuff. He said, I'm just expecting you to get the job done. Mm -hmm. So now, what am I saying to you? I'm saying to you that when you pray in the Holy Ghost, you get information as to how to get that done. Amen. You begin, it begins to be revealed to you all that you have available. Saints, Jesus. you know, some things are so simple. Some things are so already in place mm -hmm. that you can operate the supernatural just with the push of a button. I mean, just, just little simple things. I just made a little list here. Everybody loves favor, right? Yeah. Everybody loves favor. Mm -hmm. And you hear people, and Pastor DeVoy, she, she, she's, the, she's a spark for some of this, okay? Because mm -hmm. I hear a quote in the scripture. It says, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing mm -hmm. and takes favor of the Lord. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, you ain't got no favor. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> okay, I said, okay, okay. I'm sitting there, I'm hanging with this stuff. And all of a sudden, all, I, I begin to remember all of the verses of scripture mm -hmm. that God gave me about favor. Mm -hmm. And I said, oh my God. Proverbs 12, 2 says, A good man attains favor of the Lord. All I got to do is be good. So when I'm good to her, guess what happens? I double up on my favor. Okay? I double up on my favor. Okay? The Proverbs 11, 12, 27 says, He that diligently seeks good procures favor. Now if I'm wow. diligent seeking good wow. and do, 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 good. He said, I'm calling for favor. Come here, favor! Come Get on, over here! Yeah, people say, I did my good deed for the day. I'm doing it all day. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Because That's all I got the greater measure of favor. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. And I got favor just for being married. Come on. So I'm piling up my favor. Okay? <laughs> he says, Proverbs 14, 22. Mercy and truth shall be to them that devise good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. You make a mistake. I got to worry. I'm going to devise the good. I'm going to devise some more. He said, don't worry about it. I didn't make a mistake. Don't worry. It's cool. That's it. That's it. That's and you want to find out the truth about a situation? Start devising good. Mm -hmm. Plotting to do good. Wow. All of a sudden they say, oh, yeah, I didn't tell you that. It's uh huh. I found the truth out about that, didn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. And it says, mercy and truth purges iniquity. Yes. Wow. You do good, yes. it wipes out. The iniquity in your life. Come on now. Oh my God, my God. He says, Proverbs 16, 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies wow. to be at peace with him. Wow, 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 wow. When you do good, and when you walk in faith, oh yeah, pr pr Psalm, Psalm 5. The Lord encompassed the righteous with favor wow. as with a shield. Wow. Now you just got five verse, four verses right here that will put you in the favor of God when you can't be hurt. When good's going to come to you, your enemies can't bother you, you have mercy and truth. I mean, you know what I mean? When just This stuff came to me just praying in the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost, the deep things of God. You may, you don't have to be some deep zama, 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 spiritual person. You know what I mean? Yes, uh, you, you, you can just meditate and do the things that are good all the time. Forgive, yeah. love, bless, yeah. help the poor. You know, yeah. this favor runs so deep, Psalm 41 is involved in these things too. Yeah. You want to see the favor of God in action? 
I mean, yeah, like I said, you don't have to be that geek. Look at Psalm 41. It says, blessed is he that considers the poor. Amen. Mm -hmm. The Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Mm -hmm. The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive. And he shall be blessed upon the earth. Yeah. And thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. Yeah. The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of language. Yeah. Thou will make all his bed in his sickness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In other words, the favor and the manifestation and the glory of God mm -hmm. is so prevalent and so accessible and so glorified. Mm -hmm. When you just walk and do good. Mm -hmm. Amen. My God. Mm -hmm. You don't have to be a faith giant. Mm -hmm. But it helps. Because the more you do it, the better it's going to be for you. Mm -hmm. The more favor is going to come. Hallelujah. The more knowledge of the will of God and the word of God is going to come. Mm -hmm. And it's all through the Bible. Go to the second chapter of the book of Peter. Second chapter, uh, uh, second, second Peter chapter 1. Second Peter chapter 1. I don't know how we missed this, you know. But I'm telling you, God shows up and he gets real touchy about you. He get very, 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 very touchy about you when you start doing good and doing things on purpose like that and praying in the Holy Ghost. Because here, here's what I'm saying. He says, if you keep my commandments, he said, I will manifest myself to you. He's, now, the Bible says, keep, it says, building yourself up in your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Doesn't sound like a suggestion to me. Amen. So as you begin to do these things, you get the manifestation. You get the knowledge of Him. Look at 2 Peter chapter 1. 2 Peter chapter 1. And let's look at verse 4. It says, Whereby given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Oh, my God. He said all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you start partaking of his nature. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Praying in the Holy Ghost and doing good. Wow. This starts to get in your mind and in your heart to that's all you want to do. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's it. Now see, now that's easy to follow God, isn't it? Oh, it's not yeah. hard for me to walk in holiness. My body is the temple. I meditate on things that are good, just holy and lovely and a good report. It's becoming part of my nature. Yeah. And that's what we strive to. Yes. It says, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. Mm -hmm. And besides this, giving all diligence. He didn't say just do it once in a while. Wow. He said, you got to pay attention to this stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to be doing, doing good all the time. You got to exercise compassion all the time. Praying in the Holy Ghost. I'm giving. And in the book of Ephesians, he said, with perseverance. Praying in the Holy Ghost. Okay? He says, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, to knowledge temperance, to temperance patience, to patience. Oh my God, there's that word patience, but it's going to pay off saints. Yes. And to patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity or love. For if these things be in you and yeah. abound, they make you. That you shall neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. You're yes. going to start knowing Jesus. My God. My God. Okay. For if you do these things, no, no, but, but he that lacks these things is blind and cannot see afar off, and has forgotten he was purged from his old sins. Wherefore, the weather, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. Mm -hmm. This stuff will make it sure for you. Yeah. For if you do these things, oh, look out now. Come on. If you do these things, yeah. if you make them a part of your nature, yeah. you shall never fall. Yeah. That's it. <clears throat> you don't wonder that like, what would happen if I get mad and I mess up and, and, and walk away from God? And, this ain't even your thought. That's mm -hmm. it. That's it. It's not my problem. Mm -hmm. My God. This is my nature. Mm -hmm. You know, it's part of my nature. Well, my dealing with Pastor the boy hadn't, hadn't changed over the past few years. Everything, something happened, whatever the case is. You know, the Holy Ghost is our marriage counselor. Mm -hmm. I know what to do. Mm -hmm. I start doing good. <laughs> People at my job, they get ugly and say, say something. I ain't got to change. I just do something good. Mm -hmm. Unlike Kentucky Fried Chicken, I do one thing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> By the Holy Ghost, to God be all the glory. Amen. He's the one that taught me everything Amen. I know. So that's what you got to do. Hallelujah. Just keep doing that. And pray in the Holy Ghost, he'll take you deeper. You already have your needs met. You already have your protection. You already have your healing. You already have your peace of mind. But he'll take you so deep to your focus and attention. Just be on him. Love it on him. He starts solving problems because your faith is just taking care of the things in your life. Like it says, this is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. The problems look at you and don't want nothing to do with you. They'll begin to dissipate. I've seen it happen over and over. Where faith is so built up in my heart, the problems begin to melt before they get to me. That's the shield of faith. He encompasses us with favor. That's with a shield. You have a shield Amen. of faith and a shield of favor. Amen. That's what I'm talking about. Praying in the Holy Ghost is a valuable tool, saints. You, ever, you see how you hooked it together with and keeping yourself in the love of God? <clears throat> you got that? You're building yourself up in the most holy faith. And then it keeps you in the love of God. Holy God. And you get the favor. And you get the goodness. And you get the knowledge of God. Oh, and you got the whole picture. It says, please spend time every day to pray for the Lord. If you don't see the results, you know what happened? You just please God. Mm -hmm. Now here's what I want to share with you now. The last thing I want to leave you with this. It is a beautiful thing not to see results. What do you mean, Pastor Archie? I thought you were supposed to see some results. <laughs> <laughs> you know why it's a beautiful thing? Because when you don't see the results, you did it because you believe God said to do it. You believe He know you believe He's gonna do what He said. Mm -hmm. And then what it say about faith? It's impossible to please God. I don't see no results. Thank you, Jesus. It's me and you, right? Yeah. And all of a sudden, boom! Whoa! Thank you, Jesus! Whoa! But you don't get the results. No, you made God happy. Amen. Yes. I promise you the results is coming. Amen. Okay? Amen. <laughs> to God be the glory. I hope y'all got what you came for. Amen. God be the glory.